All right, I want to do another video here, something that's very disturbing to me. Um, Robert Breaker and Ed Fenning are taking advantage of a, a man with mental disabilities. It just really, really saddens me to see this. You can see it here. Um, here he is. This guy's name is Jason. He's from Australia. And uh, I feel bad for the guy. He's He's got some, I mean, some kind of disabilities. I, I don't know uh, what it is, but this guy, they've they have convinced him, this poor guy, that, that uh, you don't call upon the name of the Lord to be saved and whatever else. And the, these guys have just, they brainwashed the poor guy. And they don't have any kind of a changed life that they can offer this guy. And as a result, he's just in all kinds of sin and things. I mean, just I looked at his channel because he, he's making all these videos. He's calling me an antichrist and all this stuff. I mean, how does somebody with mental disabilities even understand that I'm an antichrist? See, where is he getting this stuff from? He's not getting it from himself. These guys, these false teachers are putting poison into this poor guy's mind. It's really, really sad. And, uh, you know, just looking at his videos and, and, you know, here he's doing a video on, on a review of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, Jason, I think your name is, uh, my sister and her husband had a farm in West Virginia that raised chickens for Kentucky Fried Chicken. It, was, it went to Pilgrim's uh, Pride, I think it was the chicken company. And then they sold, they were one of the big suppliers of chicken meat to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, they put chemicals in to make the chickens grow very rapidly. Uh, again, my sister and her husband had a dog, and the dog would occasionally eat the, the some of the chicken feed that fell out of the hoppers that went into the big chicken buildings. And their poor dog, she aged, you know, much more rapidly, and she actually died. She grew very overweight, very obese, and she died. That's what you're eating when you're eating Kentucky Fried Chicken. But see, Robert Breaker and Ed Fenninger, they don't care about you. All they care about is messing you up doctrinally. They're not going to tell you this stuff, that this stuff's bad for you. I am telling you, I care about you. All right? Don't eat Kentucky Fried Chicken. And then, you know, and the Big Mac thing, too. I mean, this stuff is terrible for you, horrible for your health. Uh, they're not going to tell you that, all right? But, you know, I went to his channel just to see the kind of stuff, you know, what's going on here. And, and you know, he's, they, you know, see, they they they, they bring in the feeble-minded like this. And, and, you know, no insult or anything, Jason, you know, your name there. Um, they, they bring in these guys and they, they train them to have that same bitter demonic spirit that Fenninger has and things uh, you know, and it's this continual, I need to expose Brian Denlinger and whatever else. Uh, the Bible says a man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject. Right? If I'm if I'm truly a heretic, then you reject me and you move on and serve the Lord. But of course you're not serving the Lord because you're being brought into a false sense of salvation. Um, you know, but you're doing, this guy's doing messages to radio stations and things and, and here he's again attacking me and uh, Brian Denlinger is a liar and has an, a spirit of an antichrist. How does a man with mental disabilities even understand what all that stuff is? He's being fed poison from the likes of Robert Breaker and Ed Fenninger. They're taking advantage of this poor guy. I think that's so sick. I mean, you, you Fenninger and, and Breaker, you guys are sick that you would brainwash a poor guy like this. But, you know, there he subscribed to me. And again, there's Ed Fenninger and uh, another liar here, Jay Downer. And, um, Robert Breaker, of course. And I don't even understand. How could you have, you know, how did that even work to go visit, you know, Robert Breaker? I mean, I know some people that are autistic and, and things. And I'm not saying you're autistic, but they wouldn't be able to travel. But... I don't know. I don't understand such things. But, uh, you know, just some of the stuff here. See, the likes of Ed Fenninger, especially, there's no kind of, uh, you have to turn from sin or anything else there. And, and you just can kind of go on. And as long as you have a profession of faith, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, why would you be subscribed to that there? I mean, you can learn a lot about somebody by their subscriptions. I mean, there's some crazy stuff here that you're subscribed to there. Uh, where's the teaching? I mean, hey, how you doing there? Okay, you're, you you have the right to call me an antichrist, yet you're watching this kind of stuff. But you know, it goes down through here and everything. 
That looks like a real good one too there. So, you know, it, it, it's just such a shame that these lying false prophets like this, they'll steal money from anybody. They have no conscience at all. Um, and they'll, they'll use even feeble-minded guys like this Jason guy. Um, and, and, you know, he's obviously got some problems. And these guys are never going to tell him. They're never going to teach him the word of God because they don't know it themselves. They're lost. So uh, just just to show you the kind of caliber the, that the Ed Fenningers and the Robert Breakers are. Um, they're not warning people to stay away from sin. They're not warning people about these types of things. Uh, Ed Fenninger has playlists of, of boxing and other secular things like that. You know, really disgusting. It really is. And Ed Fenninger and Robert Breaker, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves for poisoning a man that has mental problems. It's a shame.